There are lots of different ways to secure your fabric to a hoop when you're embroidering. We're going to talk about two of the main ways. So there's the standard method of doing it, and then there's the hoopless method. So let's talk about the standard method first. This works really well for stable fabrics that don't scar very easily. So that would be like quilting weight wovens, home decor wovens, durable fabrics like that. Open the quick release lever and loosen the retaining screw. Then take the outer hoop and put it on a flat hard surface like a table. Take your stabilizer and fabric and lay it down centered over the outer hoop. Then place the inner hoop over the fabric and push it down into the center of the outer hoop loosening the screw if you need to, to get it open a little bit further. Make sure the fabric is smooth and taut in the hoop, and then close the quick release lever. Don't force the lever closed. If it's hard to snap shut, then loosen the retaining screw until you can snap it shut easily, and then tighten the screw back up to make the outer hoop nice and snug against the inner hoop. Hoopless embroidery sounds like a magical oxymoron, but it actually still uses the hoop. The fabric just floats on top of the stabilizer as opposed to being secured in between the inner and the outer hoop. This is a really good choice for fabrics that stretch or scar easily, like fleece or velvet or vinyl. It's also useful for thick fabrics that you can't really fit in between the inner and the outer hoop, or for things like pre-existing garments that don't really flatten out all the way. First, hoop up some stabilizer following the previous instructions. Place the fabric to be embroidered on top of the stabilizer and use some pins around the edge to hold it in place. It's really, really, really important that you don't embroider over the pins. You just want to use them temporarily until you get going to keep your fabric in place. If you accidentally do embroider over them, bad things can happen, like broken needles and damaged machines. If your fabric is textured, you can top it with a clear water-soluble stabilizer, like Dissolve Away, to prevent your stitches from sinking down into the fabric. It's really helpful when you're doing hoopless embroidery to use the baste function. This will put a line of basting stitches around your embroidery area and help secure your fabric to the stabilizer so you can take the pins out. We'll go over the baste function more in the next episode. So how do you know where to place the fabric in the hoop? The raised hash marks on all four sides of your embroidery hoop are going to help you center the fabric in your hoop really easily. All you have to do is a little bit of finger pressing. Just take the fabric that you're embroidering and fold it in half horizontally and vertically, finger pressing a crease along each center. If you don't want to or can't finger press your fabric, you could also use a ruler and a water soluble marking tool to draw a line on each center. Then when you hoop up your fabric, just make sure the center marks or creases on your fabric line up with the center marks on the hoop and you're good to go. By now we've picked out our thread, our stabilizer, our hoop, we've set up our machine for embroidery, and we've hooped up our fabric. So now we are ready to finally stitch something out. So that's what we're going to do in the next episode.